In the previous tutorial I introduced the specifications, now we are going to implement that actually, so let's go to the blank Excel sheet and enter the important information. Demand is 10,000 pallets, so that's the demand per year, anticipated demand, and we have determined the holding costs are 75 pence per pallet so holding cost per pallet per year and uh, ordering costs so per order independent of the number of orders is 150 pounds okay so Let's format it a little bit. This is a currency, English pounds, demand, so number. I'm actually going to add our custom unit again there. Custom unit. I just have a, a simple number with a thousand separator and P for pallets. Okay, and this uh, cost per order. Let's also format the, this H, the font, subscript, okay, and CO, font, subscript, okay. Good. Okay, so this is a uh, basic information which we have got. Now, our first task is the economic order quantity. So Q equals, what is Q? Let's just uh, quickly insert an equation. Uh, insert equation. So Q equals the square root out of what? 2 times the demand 2 times the demand and the ratio of um, ordering cost to holding cost ordering cost to holding cost or carrying cost Sometimes the ordering costs are also uh, exchanged with the setup costs. Okay, so that's our formula, which is quite obvious from the from the from this diagram, the linear relationship and the inverse of the ordering cost, and we are just equating those two. Okay, so square root of 2 times the demand, which is here, demand, uh, times the ordering cost divided by the holding cost. And this is, this is the optimal order quantity. Quantity. Good. What else are we interested in? Usually the holding cost, the ordering cost, um, the cycle time, and um, so these are obviously our next tasks, total inventory cost. How many orders will we have per year? That might be actually the first next logical step, the frequency, frequency equals nothing else than if we order 2,000 pallets one order is 2,000 pallets and we have a demand of 10,000 pallets so how can we fulfill that? well we have to order five times so demand divided by the order quantity 
Okay, let's immediately insert this equation again. Frequency equals demand over order quantity. the number of orders per year. Good. So then we can immediately compute the cost. So um, our total holding cost, I'm going to capitalize the H now. Let me just recycle. Let me just recycle those two formulas. So we are going to have not a total holding cost and a total ordering cost, abbreviated with a capital letter rather than the small letter. So how do we get the holding cost? It's the that's our average inventory, which is Q divided by two times times the the cost per pallet, so 750 pounds. Since we derived this equation by setting uh, this holding cost similar, so let's insert another equation, that's a symbol, again, insert equation. So how do, can you insert an equation? Just go there to equation and I would suggest to immediately add it to the quick access toolbar. Okay, so here is the quick access toolbar. And what did I say again? Um, so we have the fraction, so the average inventory, Q half, so it's a triangle which goes down until the replenishment occurs. We will see that in in, the, in one of the later tutorials. Times the holding cost. So CH. So the holding cost per unit. Good. So total holding cost. total water cost. Well, we could just be very brutal and say that must be the same as the holding cost, or we can compute it properly, which means the ordering cost is demand, uh, is the frequency of the orders times the orders which we do. So let's just insert that same equation again. So so our total order cost C O equals the frequency times the cost per order C O. Okay, and here we had C. Um, subscript H C H good so let's change the formula to frequency times cost per order here we go and this gives us the total cost C equals the holding cost plus the ordering cost. Total cost. Good. Now, how often shall we do these orders? That's a good question. 
So we have got, we have expressed it already in the frequency, but um, what I really mean is, what is the cycle time between orders? That means how many days do we have first in the year? Uh, okay, number of days in a year, well, 365 usually. Um, what we have given here is the specification that we should assume that the number of days is so 52 weeks we've got in a year with six working days and we are subtracting six days for public holidays. So that means six times 52 minus six, obviously that would be the same as six times 51, so 306 days. So that's the number of days. So what is the cycle time? Nothing else than that is 306 divided by the number of orders. So every 61.2 days we expect an order to take place. Okay. Um, so the cycle time. Okay, let me call that T. So that's basically it. Now the next tutorial is going to have a look at uh, the implementation of this theoretical model and to display a graph.